I'll be showing how to create a new task in a single click off of a Teams message. So oftentimes I might get a message like this where I'm supposed to go do something, sign up for a presentation or complete a work item, and half the time I can't remember, it might get lost in here. So I'm gonna to go to the dot, 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 more actions, and then create a new task like this. And it's gonna pop up a way where I can make a task and set a due date and submit it. And we're gonna use Power Automate to be able to add this into your Teams as well and then share it with other people. So let's go over to Power Automate to start. I'm here in Office and in the App Launcher on the bottom right here is Power Automate. And if you don't see yours there, you can click the All Apps here and you'll be able to find Power Automate right there. So let's go into Power Automate. I'm here in Power Automate and Power Automate lets you automate easy, repetitive tasks. And that's what we're gonna do here. I have a different video on the basics of getting started with Power Automate. You can click in the upper right if you want to see that. But we're going to go on the left-hand menu here and click Create. We're going to create a new flow. We're going to create an instant flow. That's triggered manually, which means every time I go to that dot, dot, dot menu in the Teams message, I'm going to say Create Tasks. So instant flow. Now here's the dialog, and we're going to trigger this flow. So it's going to be for a selected Teams message. I'll select this and click Create. Okay, now we're gonna create an adaptive card. That means it'll be that little card that popped up that asked me to enter that task. That's an adaptive card example. We'll click this. Now, we're gonna walk through and customize our adaptive card. This is pretty simple, but if you've never done it, bear with me, it just takes a minute or so. First, click on tell us about yourself. We're gonna change the text of this, and instead, this is gonna be create a new task. The next one here, we're gonna select this, and there's a little X here. Just click remove, get rid of that. Now click on your name right here. And over on the right hand side, we're gonna change the title of this and this is gonna be the task subject. Like what's the subject of the task I'm gonna enter? And we'll click on last comma first. We'll delete the placeholder text, but we need to give this an ID. So lowercase and uppercase, instead of my name, we're gonna make this task subject. And note there's no space between those words. Task subject is the ID of this field here. Now we're gonna to go to your email, we'll remove this. Click on this example here, remove this. Now we'll go to phone number and we're gonna change this one and instead of phone number, this is gonna be the due date of the task. Then click on right here and click X to remove. Now on the lower left, there's some inputs and we're gonna drag the input date right here under due date. Now I click on this here, click on the month slash date, date, year, 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 and we're gonna set another ID. So the ID for this one is gonna be called due date. And note again, there's no space right there. Okay, now we're all done. This is what the card's gonna look like, subject and due date, and then just submit. So click save card. That's the first part. Now we're gonna add the new step of creating a task. So I'll click new step. And there's a bunch of options here. We're gonna search for to do, which is the task app for Microsoft. And there we are to do for business, click this. And the action that we're gonna take is add a to-do. That's the most basic one. Click here to add a to-do is the action we're gonna take. So first off, we'll click on subject here. Now it says default to-do. We're gonna replace that. Now if I scroll down to the bottom, you're gonna see task subject. That's the one that we created. We're gonna put this in instead. So the task subject will go in the subject of my task. We'll leave the to-do list as the same here. And then we should go to due date. Now I click on due date. And we're gonna replace this with that due date that we created. So at the bottom, you should see due date. I'll click that. So that's gonna set the due date for the to-do. And then lastly, what goes into the body? So the body, what we're gonna want is the body of that Teams message. So that's pretty easy to do. There's this Teams message content right here. I'll click this. So it's gonna automatically put all of the Teams message body in there. Now I'm gonna hit enter, and I'm gonna actually add link back to Teams because I might want to link back to that message. Like for example, if there is a PowerPoint in there or there's a link or other information, I want to be able to get a link right back to that Teams message in my to-do item. So the link back to Teams, luckily there's a link to message. So I just click this and it's going to put the link to message right there. So that's all there is to it. I'm going to click save. Now we've got for the selected message, we're going to add a to-do or a task into my to-do list and we're all done. The other last thing is in the upper left, I'm gonna get this a little bit better of a name. Instead of this API connections, I'm gonna call this create new task. And we'll click save. Now we're all done. Now I'm gonna go back into Teams and we'll show what that looks like for this create new task. 
Hey, I am in Teams. Here's the message. Oh, I have to sign up for a presentation. There's a link. I, I might forget to do this. I want to make sure I get a task. So I go to the dot 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 menu and I go down to more actions and we'll say create a new task. It pops up the dialogue. So the task subject, sign up for presentation, due date. I want it done by Monday and I'll hit submit. Super easy. Now I can really track my stuff. Let's go into Office and see how that shows up in To Do. So if I go into All Apps, and here's To Do right here. There we are, Sign Up for Presentation. It's in my list. Let's see what that looks like. I opened it up. Now let's see, there's the body of that Teams message. There's the form link and the link back to the Teams message at the bottom, just like we said. So I'll click this here. It takes me right into Teams and it takes me right to that Teams message. So here's the PowerPoint deck if I want to see it, if I want to access the message in context. Now, the last thing you might ask is, hey, can I share this with other people? Maybe I'm in an organization or a school. I want to give other people access to the same flow so they don't have to go create this themselves. So let's go back to Power Automate, and it's really easy to do that. I'm back in Power Automate, and I'll go to My Flows. Here's the one I just made, Create New Task. Let's go in here. Now here are all the details and you can share these things, but you want to share it in a certain way. So I want to make it for run only users. That means no one else can edit my flow, but I can invite them to install a flow button so they can use it just as easy as I can. So I go to edit and we want to make sure it's provided by run only user. So we'll leave that as it is. We won't change it and I can enter some names. So maybe I want to make Ella have access to this. You can even add groups. So I want all the Pineview science teachers to have access to this as well. And then at the bottom, you hit save. And what happens is Ella will get an invite to get that button and use that flow. And then people in my science PLC, my science teachers can also use that as well. I'll show briefly what it looks like for Ella to receive that flow and then how she can use it. So I'm signed in as Ella and she's a colleague that I just shared that flow with. So Ella is going to go to Outlook. And hey, here's a flow from Kara, the educator who shared it. So I click on this and this is from the flow account. So when Ella gets this, just to know that it's from Microsoft, I say get button. And if Ella's never used Power Automate, she'll just click get started. Okay, it's all set. Click continue. Now it's all set to go. And you can see the owner was Kara Coleman who created that. So now if Ella goes into Teams, let's do that. So she signed in right here. She goes to the dot, dot, dot menu, goes down to more actions. And there's the create new task right there. Now Ella can run this same flow. So it's really easy to create this flow and share it with everyone else. If you found this video useful, give it a like. Now, if you want to keep up with all the latest quick tip videos that I'll keep releasing, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get notified for all the new videos that post.